Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope, and today I have four contemporary romances, all found on Kindle Unlimited, that feature feuding families. So, you might not know this about me, but I am obsessed with feuding families. I think it's so much fun. Like, I mean, to the point, like, I'll read about the Hatfields and McCoys, that episode of Bones where there's, like, feuding families. Like, sign me up. I absolutely love it. I think it's so fun. I think it's so interesting. So, I like it in historical romances as well. Honestly, it's a trope that I just love. But I have found that I really enjoy it in contemporary romances because a lot of times it's really funny. It's not like dangerous or anything, but it's like funny. And I think that it's just great whatever. So I was scouring Kendall Unlimited the other day looking for some of these. I even asked on Instagram, but everyone was suggesting Ruthless Rivals by Kate Bateman. I have read all of those books. I will have a series review coming. Um, and I probably should have said I was looking for a contemporary, but I'm also looking for a historical too all the time, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I was scouring Kindle Unlimited looking, and I have found four romances that I want to recommend to you guys. I have read them all. I'd actually already read some of them um, before I started doing this, but I suggest these. I think that you should read them, um, especially if you love feuding families, because like I said, it is so much fun. Okay, so the first one that I have is Charmed by Laura Pavlov. This is book three in the Willow Springs series, and it is following Mara and Cruz. They're actually in a big city in Texas, not in Willow Springs, for the most part of this book. I feel like it's Houston, but I could be wrong. It could be Dallas. Anyway, so Cruz works for his family's like advertising firm, and Mara has gotten an internship at it. So she doesn't tell her family exactly where her internship is because, you know, feuding families. Um... And also, like, her and Cruz have always thought each other was, like, really cute, but they, of course, haven't acted on it. So they start spending time together, and they kind of realize that maybe the other one isn't really that bad. And they're also both going back and forth to Honey Mountain quite a bit, so they start kind of riding together and everything. But, like, remember, Mars family doesn't even know that she's working for them. And Cruz is also, like, a huge stickler for he cannot have an office romance because his grandfather always said that that would ruin everything. So Cruz's family is extremely close, and we find out that Mara's family is a little bit more disheveled. And as they start getting closer, she's not really telling him everything, and they're not really talking about, like, the root of the feud too much, but we're seeing that Cruz's family is really strong and Mara's is crumbling. And Cruz has to be there for Mara during all of that, but also they're still trying to hide all of this stuff, and it's kind of chaotic. There's a lot going on. I loved it. I love their romance. I love the, like hidden angsty aspects of it all because they really both know that this is just it just can't happen you know but they can't help it and I just absolutely love it also like how worried they both are about like reality right like his job her internship which means her future too like I like that that wasn't brushed under the rug because so often things like that especially in office romances or just kind of brushed under the rug like we don't really care about you know what is going to happen when real life intrudes on this and I love that Laura Pavlov did talk about that okay the next one that I have is A Little Taste by Tia Louise this is the first book that I've ever read by Tia Louise and I will be reading more I thought it was great so this is like a feuding families but they don't like flat out hate each other but they're still kind of feuding so we are following Britt and Aiden so Aiden is a small town sheriff Britt's grandmother is the mayor of the town that he's a sheriff of. So they like work closely together. But um, her grandmother is also kind of like a magician. So and Britt's mom is doing like tarot cards and everything else, which I like I'm not trying to like look down on because I love that stuff. But Britt has firmly said no to magic. She is living in the city, but her grandmother asked her to come and help solve this like rash of crimes. She's a like crime scene photographer, like crime scene tech type person. So she begrudgingly agrees to come home and consult, um, and also she's going to be working with Aiden, who is also a single dad. I didn't mention that. She brings her dog, who helps her solve crimes. And these crimes are kind of weird. There's, like, little signs that have been going up around town. Someone destroyed a pickle crop. There was, like, breaking into, like, a chicken coop. It's, like, random things. But, of course, once Britt gets there, they do start kind of coming across all of these little things, and it, they're figuring out that this is going to be a bigger problem. So they have both always been attracted to one another, but of course never acted on it. And he's a couple years older than her. So he's kind of like, you just got this job because of your grandmother. And she's kind of like, you just hate my family and you're not letting me speak for me. But her mom is kind of sticking her nose into all of these investigations as well. And then a body turns up. 
So her mom makes things worse and her and Aiden have to figure out this balance of like being together, being with their families and also solving this crime. And then come to find out the crime, like Britt's dad's accidental drowning um, actually wasn't an accident and that is all going to play into all of these things that are happening and why and like it was addictive it really was I love the little town I love the quirky characters I love like her dog I can't wait to continue there's another book coming out I think it's coming out this year or maybe it's already come out or it comes out next year I don't remember but I did look and there was another book so I'm really excited to see it so these families aren't like super hard feuding like I said but they don't really like one another because of course one of them is like super magic heavy and the other one is like I hate magic but it's still honestly a lot of fun like I really liked this book the next one that I have is Rewriting the Stars by Claire Kingsley. This is book six in the Bailey Brothers series. So you're probably like, why are you recommending book six? These can be read as standalones. There is kind of a little overarching mystery that goes through all of them, but they can be read as standalones. And like, of course, the mystery is going to come to a conclusion in the sixth book, but they kind of recap a lot of things that have already happened. So in this one, we are following Levi Bailey and Anika Haven. The Havens and Baileys have been feuding for centuries, but... I think it's actually decades but the feud has really started coming to a head because instead of it just being like little jokes dangerous things are happening and everyone's kind of like what the hell but Levi and Anika have known each other since they're the same age they've known each other since high school and in high school they used to text all the time um, and then she moved away she got pregnant um, when she came home he like reached out again and they have been talking ever since so there's that but like they can't talk openly and of course this feud is starting to come to a head and her brothers are trying to set her up with people and he is like trying to help save his grandmother's farm and there's or I guess it's not really a farm it's just land but there's like so much stuff going on but you know they are kind of each other's like quiet place but all of the brothers because everyone has brothers like there's six there's like five or six Bailey brothers and then Anika has a ton of brothers as well are very against any kind of reconciliation it seems like and they're very against this relationship so they're sneaking around together um, even once everyone knows they're still like a little bit quiet about it but they're also trying to find the Montgomery treasure which has been like this town legend forever they're trying to find it in order to see if it's money to save Grand Bailey's farm and also the Haven Lumber Company and just like a lot of things. So they team up to try to find it and what they find is going to blow the roof off the whole town. Like I love this series. I think it's so fun. I have read almost all the books. I think I just have like one that I haven't read and I think the whole thing is so much fun. Um, I've been wondering how the feud was gonna like reconcile and it's very Romeo and Juliet it's very cute they even save each other's Romeo and Juliet in their phones but like it's so cute I really liked it I was all in with um Levi and Anika really quickly I loved their relationship there was never like a huge blow up that was like we just can't be together they were both like and eh, we like to talk we're gonna keep talking there's nothing that anyone's gonna do about it and I just I just absolutely loved it I thought it was so good all right, the last one that I have is Neat by Candy Steiner. This is book two in the Becker Brothers series. And in this one, we are following Mallory and Logan. So Mallory's family owns this distillery. Logan's family actually helped like found it, but they've kind of been kicked out of all of that. And Logan is kind of thinking he's gonna be up for this promotion for like the manager of like tour guides. He already manages them, but he wants like the department head position. But Mallory is brought in um, kind of with a deal for her dad that she is going to work for five years. Um, and in exchange for that, he gave her an art gallery. So Mallory comes in and Logan's trying to train her. And guys, she is terrible at first. Like she won't listen to anything he says. She cuts off her professional uniform um, to make it like a crop top and it's like freezing outside. And then she kind of demands to give this tour and she destroys it. And it's so like, of course, Logan gets blamed and she keeps doing things that kind of get Logan into trouble. And she's like, I don't mean to. And then she apologizes and it's kind of like annoying. But Logan is actually kind of a nice guy and he helps her to set up her art gallery and they start to become friends. And we find out that Logan has always kind of had a thing for her, but now he, you know, he knows he can't act on it and their families hate one another 
because they like the Becker family thinks that the Scooter family has something to do with their dad's death, which is kind of brought to light because they find a bunch of his dad's stuff hidden in a storage room, and Mr. Scooter is kind of evil. So I did like this book. I thought it was really interesting, but I like had gripes with Mallory's character. Like she knew how shady her dad was, but she just did it anyway. She was really stubborn. She kept saying like she wasn't a princess, blah, blah, blah. But then she, that's exactly how she acted. Like she was kind of a frustrating character to me. She came around in the end and I ended up liking her, but like I found myself being very annoyed with her through a lot of it. But there's like a fun murder mystery that goes on throughout it. And I will go ahead and tell you, this does not solve the feud but hopefully it'll be solved at some point. So those are four books that I definitely recommend. I gave them all four or five stars. I recommend them and I love like the feuding families aspect of it. In some of them, it's like much more prominent than others, but honestly, it's so much fun to read. I love them all. And like I said, they're all in Kindle Unlimited. So if you have that, you have no excuse to not read them. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I do hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.